Good day, ABM Business Math Learners! I am Mamieng and again, welcome to my class. In this video, you will acquire an understanding of the similarities and differences between markup and margin. Let's get ready! The most essential learning competency for this video lesson is you, learners, can differentiate the markup from margins. Business owners often confuse margin and markup. Both figures help you set prices and measure productivity. But a margin versus markup shows that the two terms reflect profit differently. Both profit margin and markup use revenue and cost as part of their calculations. Before we further discuss the margin and markup, let us familiarize ourselves first with these terminologies. First one is revenue, cost of goods sold, and the last is gross profit. Revenue is the income you earn by selling your products, whether it is goods or services. Revenue is the top line of your income statement and reflects earnings before deductions. Cost of goods sold, it includes the expenses that go into making your goods and providing your services. Calculating COGS could include adding up materials and direct labor costs. And last, the gross profit. Gross profit is the revenue left over after you pay the expenses of making your goods and providing your services. Gross profit is revenue minus cost of goods sold. Gross profit is the profit the businessman earns after paying the cost of the product or the cost of goods sold. Operating expenses or overhead expenses are not yet deducted because if the operating expenses or the overhead expenses is deducted from gross profit, the difference will be called net profit. Now let us define the markup and margin. Markup, it refers to the value added by a seller to the cost price that covers its production costs and profits in order to arrive at a price that a finished product can be sold at. While margin, or also called as gross margin, it measures the profitability of a firm. It is the proportion of the income that has been left over in the business after the cost of production has been paid out from revenues. How to calculate markup? Markup can be calculated by using this formula. Markup is equal to selling price minus cost price. While margin is, margin is equal to sales minus cost of goods sold. Remember that markup and margin amount is the same, but how it differs. We can see the difference by computing its percentage value. And to compute for its percentage value, the formula for markup rate is selling price minus cost price divided by cost price. And for the margin is getting the difference of selling price and cost price and divide to selling price. When to use markup and margin? Markup is used if we want to decide on the right selling price to achieve a certain profit. While margin is used if we are looking at performance. So we then to look at margins to assess past sales. So for us to remember easily, markup is used if we are still identifying how much will be the product to be sold or how much will be its selling price. While margin is used when the product is already sold or we are assuming that it is already sold. So what are the significance of these two? 
So markup for entrepreneurs in the process of starting a business, establishing markup is one of the most important parts of pricing strategy. So in your marketing subject, you will learn the different types of pricing strategy. So markup must be sizable enough to cover all anticipated business expenses and reductions such as markdowns, stock shortages, employee and customer discounts, and still provide the business with a good profit. Well, margin. Gross profit margin is generally important because it is the starting point toward achieving a healthy net profit. When you have a high gross profit margin, you are in better position to have a strong operating profit margin and strong net income. To better understand the concept about margin and markup, we have here a sample problem. Suppose Mr. Alberto buys a bicycle worth 500 pesos and sells the bicycle for 7,000 pesos to cover expenses and profit, how much is the markup rate? So to compute for the markup rate, we have here profit divided by cost. So the profit is 2,000 since the selling price is 7,000 and the cost is 5,000. So Mr. Alberto has a profit of 2,000 pesos. So we will divide this by cost, which is 5,000 pesos. So the markup rate is 40%. For margin problem, we have here, suppose Mr. Alberto buys a bicycle worth 5,000 pesos and sells the bicycle for 7,000 pesos to cover his expenses and profit. What is the margin percentage? So margin is equal to profit divided by selling price. So the profit is 2,000 and the selling price is 7,000. So from here, the computed margin is 28 and 57%. For further understanding, I will be presenting another sample problem here. So for example, we are going to find the margin amount and its percentage. So the given are the revenue or the sales, which is 180 pesos, and the cost of goods sold for this is 105 pesos. So the step one is to find a gross profit first or the margin amount so the formula is gross profit is equal to revenue minus cost of goods sold so to substitute the revenue is 180 pesos and the cost of goods sold is 105 pesos so our gross profit is 75 pesos so once we say it's gross profit the cost of goods sold is the only expenses that is being deducted the operating expenses is not yet deducted okay so for the step two we will divide the gross profit by revenue so the gross profit here is 75 pesos and our revenue is 180 pesos so the answer is 4167 10 thousands Okay, and then the step three is to multiply the quotient by a hundred and place a percent sign. So four thousand one hundred sixty-seven ten thousand times a hundred is equal to forty-one and sixty-seven percent. So if the revenue is one hundred eighty pesos and the cost of goods sold is one hundred five pesos, our margin percentage is forty-one and sixty-seven. How about finding markup amount and percentage or rate? Okay, so the given our selling price is 180 pesos and the cost price is 105 pesos. So the step one is find a gross profit or the markup amount. So gross profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. So the answer is 75 pesos. So like what I have mentioned earlier, margin and markup are equal in amount. So, step two, divide gross profit by cost. So, the 
gross profit here is 75 pesos and the cost is 105 pesos so the answer is 7143 and for step 3 we have to multiply the quotient by 100 and place a present sign so 7143 10 times 100 is equal to 71 and 43 percent so for this example we have the same amount in selling price or for the revenue and the cost price and the cogs but then we arrived at different rate for our markup and margin how about we are asked to compute for markup rate but the only given is the margin percentage so for example a company wants to have a margin of 30 percent how much should be the markup rate okay so the given is only the margin percentage which is 30 percent the formula to be used for this is cost price or cogs plus markup or margin is equal to selling price or revenue okay since the given here is the margin rate so we are going to substitute that so 30 percent so since the given here is a margin meaning our 100% or the base is the revenue or the selling price okay so since the selling price is a hundred percent therefore the cost price should be 70 percent okay now to compute for the markup rate we have to use this formula markup rate or rate of markup is equal to margin divided by cogs so let us substitute so margin is a 30 percent convert into decimal that will be 30 hundreds and divided by cogs which is 70 hundreds and the answer for that will be multiplied by a hundred we will get our markup rate as a 42 and 86 percent meaning if you want to have a margin of 30 percent we should mark up our product at 42 and 86 percent we can also use this formula if the given is only the margin rate okay so the formula is markup is equal to margin divided by one minus margin and the quotient of this will be multiplied by a hundred so let us substitute so margin is 30 percent or 30 hundreds divided by one minus 30 hundreds times a hundred so that will be 30 hundreds divided by 70 hundreds multiplied by 100 so the answer is 42 and 86 percent so we arrived at the same answer so it's up to you which formula you are going to use in converting our margin to markup another scenario could be we are asked to compute for margin but the only given is the markup rate so for example a company wants to have a markup of 50 percent how much should be the margin percentage okay so still our first formula is cost price or cogs plus markup or margin is equal to selling price or revenue okay since the given here is markup meaning this is based on cost okay since it is based on cost the cost price is the 100 percent so since cost price is 100 percent and our markup is 50 percent therefore our selling price is 150 percent 
Okay, now let us substitute or let us solve for the margin percentage. Okay, for the percentage margin, markup divided by selling price. So the markup is 50% or 500. So now our selling price is 150% or 1 and 50 hundreds times 100. The answer is 33 and 33 percent. Now let us compute by using the other formula. Okay, so margin is equal to the markup divided by 1 plus markup and the answer is to be multiplied by 100. Okay, now let us substitute. Markup is a 50% and 1 plus markup times 100. So that will be 50 hundreds over 1 and 50 hundreds times 100. The answer is 33 and 33%. Okay, so... If we want to have a markup of 50%, the margin should be 33 and 33%. As I said earlier, it's up to you which formula you are going to use in converting markup to margin or from margin to markup. Thank you so much, ABM Business Math Learners. Hope you have learned something. Please do like and subscribe and see you in our next video lesson. God bless!